Hello guys, welcome back to the video. Hope you all are doing good. So if you are not able to log in in your system and you are getting this kind of error, the user profile service failed to sign in. User profile cannot be loaded. In this video, I will share some methods you can apply to fix this issue. So first, click on this OK button. And after that, you will get your login screen name. Now what you have to do is you have to open your system in advanced mode. So to open your uh, system in advanced mode, uh, you have to press and hold the shift key and then restart your system. I will show you how to do it. You have to press and hold this shift key on your keyboard. Okay, press and hold the shift key and then click on this power button and select restart option. Here you can see on your screen, click on restart. Press and hold the shift key and here you can see the advanced mode screen. Now you can release the shift key. So this is the advanced mode screen. Now click on double shoot, then click on advanced option. Now first click on this option system restore. So this will help you to restore your PC to the back date and in the most cases this will fix the error. So click on system restore. Click on next. Now here you can see I have a restore point. So select the restore point. After that click on next. Then click on finish. So this will restore your PC to the back date and fix the login screen error. But if you don't have any restore point or uh, if it is not working, move on to the next step you can try, the next method you can try. So in the next method, we are going to open our system in safe mode. So click on this troubleshoot option, click on advanced option, then click on this option startup settings so this will help you to open your system in advanced mode click on it now click on restart now you can see these are the startup setting options you have now you have to press f4 function key on your keyboard to open your system in safe mode so press f4 function key if the F4 function key is not working. In that case, you have to press Fn plus F4 key, F4 function key. You have to press both the keys together. So this will open your system in safe mode. Now you have to wait for few minutes. Now you will see your login screen. Now enter your system password. Now my PC is logged in in the safe mode. As you can see, safe mode is written in all the four corners. Now first we are going to repair our login profile. So for this you have to press window key and R together to open run command. And after that you have to type this command REGEDIT. So this command will help you to open your system registry editor. So type this command then click on OK. And you will see this kind of screen registry editor. Now on the left side, click on this option H key local machine, then expand this option. After that, click on this software folder, then expand this folder. Click on this Microsoft folder, then expand this folder. Now scroll down and search for Windows NT folder. So scroll down. And this is the folder we need, Windows NT. Expand this folder as well. Then click on this option, uh, this folder, current version, expand this folder. Now you have to search a folder, profile list. So this is the folder we need, profile list. Expand this folder. Now here you will see these are the two profiles. Now you have to uh, search or check your a login profile name so if I click on this profile on the right side you will see this option image uh, profile image path and here you can see this is my login name LP so this is my real profile name 
so what i have to do is i have to just delete this dot bak so right click on it then click on rename after that delete this dot bak press enter that's it so first you have to check your profile name on the right side after that you have to delete uh, that dot bak okay that's it now cut this window now after that open windows services so click on this search box and type service click on this services option now you have to search for a service called user profile service so uh, type user and you will see this option user profile service right click on it click on properties make sure the startup type selected as automatic okay and after that click on stop to stop this service click on yes this will stop this service after that click on start to run this service again so the startup type will be automatic and after that just restart this service click on okay cut this window after that restart your system normally and this will fix the login screen error on your system now move on to the final method you can try so in this method we are going to repair our windows corrupted files so open this advanced mode again then click on troubleshoot click on advanced option then click on this option command prompt so this is a command prompt window which we need now you have to type a command to repair windows corrupted files so the command will be sfc space slash scan now press enter so this command will repair all the windows corrupted files and this process will take around 5 to 10 minutes to complete now type the next command boot rec space slash fix mbr so this will repair the mbr file as well press enter that's it now cut this window and after that click on continue and this will fix the login screen error on your system now move on to the final method you can try if you are still getting the same issue open this advanced mode screen again click on troubleshoot so the final method you can try is reset this pc so you have to reset your pc click on this option reset this pc now here you have two options keep my files or remove everything so click on this option keep my files so this will uh, secure all your all your files you have in your system so your data your files on your system will remain safe there will be no data loss in this process so click on this the first option keep my files after that click on local reinstall now here you can see the details uh, your system will go back to the default mode your files will remain safe there will be no data loss your windows will reinstall the only drawback is that the software the applications you have in your system will remove but your data your files in your system or if you have another partition all the data in your system will remain safe so click on this reset button and this process will take around half an hour to complete and this will reset your pc completely and fix the login screen error on your system this is all for the video thank you